Some might call these tailless amphibians cute. Maybe they are cute to look at, but they're slimy to the touch. There are nearly 5,000 different species, with many of these being found in tropical rainforests. Frogs have been around for a long time, as a frog-like fossil was found in Madagascar, dating back at least 250 million years. The adults have bulging eyes, allowing them amazing vision, and they can camouflage themselves well by changing colour to blend into the background and hide. Their skin secretes a toxic tasting substance that can further ward off predators who attempt to come too close to them. They're adaptable to their surroundings, living on land, in fresh water, in trees, or even underground, but they need to live quite close to water as they're prone to dehydration. The eggs, or spawn, are laid in water and hatch into tadpoles, which then metamorphosize into frogs. They can be quite vociferous, especially in the mating season with various calls, and usually feed on small insects and grubs, but there are some that eat plant life too. Frogs are vital to ecosystems, and a decline in the frog population usually signifies environmental damage. It's sad to say that their numbers have dropped rapidly over the last 50 years, with many deformities also being found. But happily, conservationists are now working on this issue to find the cause and the cure. Frogs are not to be confused with toads, which are bigger, and tend to have warts on their skin. In Cockney rhyming slang, going down the frog and toad means going down the road and this can sometimes be shortened to going down the frog. The famous phrase of there's a frog in my throat dates back to 1847 and was written by Harvey Newcomb. He believed that since the frog in the throat is thought to obstruct speech, it can be cured by saying no. Frogs in your garden are a good sign since they symbolize transformation, fertility and prosperity. They're a natural form of pest control and have been known to live beyond 10 years in a safe environment, but be mindful not to let your furry family too close to them. Frogs can't bear a toxic environment and encourage us to purge negativity from our lives. The frog, like the crow, can travel between worlds and they have strong ties to the moon. In Roman times, the goddess Venus believed frogs to be sacred. There have been many stories of princesses kissing frogs that then turn into princes, but please don't try this physically. Other stories tell of princesses kissing quite a few frogs before they find their prince. Frogs are able to jump 50 times their length, which signifies strength, and in Celtic law are thought to be the guardians and cleansers of the water. If you're feeling under the weather with a frog in your throat, stay hydrated and keep warm. <coughs>